what in the heck is going on everybody it is december 9th 2022 in the big bear lake california area and technically we're in big bear city right now um this is the calm before the storm i <laughs> all week long you guys i thought it was one day earlier than it really is so it's not it's actually friday the day before the storm's supposed to hit it's supposed to hit to start tomorrow evening tomorrow evening we could get like one to three inches maybe a couple more inches than that and then sunday throughout the day we we could get a foot of snow if we're lucky through the day and in the evening time another couple inches and then a little break overnight sunday into monday and then on monday we could get another few inches of snow so if everything pans out you guys this could be like 18 inches of snow so you know that's not going to happen you know it's not going to happen so I'm just gonna go with five to seven inches total by Monday afternoon. And then next week we have another massive storm coming in. I can't believe it's happening. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But yeah, so the calm before the storm, for those of you who don't really know, it's basically just to drive around the town so you guys can see how the town looks right before the storm because I love to get that different perspective um, of right before the storm and then right after the storm, just to see how little snow we have left compared to how much we will have once it starts to snow so yeah that's my story and i'm sticking to it anyway hope all of you are doing great having a beautiful day um i really hope a bunch of you are planning on coming up here because this is going to be the best storm of the year so far i can guarantee you that even if we only get a third of what they're predicting it'll still be the most snow we've received all season so i'm predicting a third of what they are predicting and in the whole eight years I've been doing storms up here, since I've lived here, the, they've never been wrong in our favor, meaning more snow. It's always less snow, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So yeah, so we are on Big Bear Boulevard, driving through Big Bear City. I'm thinking we might cut through and take some of the back streets to get to Moon Ridge and whatnot, which is exactly what we'll do. We're gonna turn down Blue Water right here next to Circle K. And uh, yeah. Also, it'll get us out of this sun right there. Boom. Watch a lay, son. Watch a lay. All right. So we're going to take this to a road called Sugarloaf, you guys. And then we're going to take Sugarloaf all the way to Division Road, where it dead ends, at the snow play, the Big Bear Snow Play Park. And then we're going to hang a left and head into Moon Ridge. Hope you all are okay with that. Right here is my wife's old house. This is where we were spending a lot of time before we got married. And then she moved in with moi, with me. Wow, I actually miss that place a lot. Anyway. Man, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys are incredible. You guys show me so much consistent love when it comes to the comments. Um, it's, it's I, I'm, I'm aghast, I'm blown away, mind boggled all the love the comments just absolutely bring tears to my eyes so often i'm not trying to sound like a wuss but it's the truth you guys really really do a lot from for my emotional well-being because uh i've suffered a lot emotionally and there have been times when i didn't want to be here anymore and i am not lying when i say this because of you guys and it's because of you guys you guys have helped me get through certain times in my life while I've been living up here that have literally saved my life. No hyperbole being used whatsoever. You guys have literally saved my life. There's no greater compliment than I could give because you guys have given me hope again, shown me that I'm not just a dumb idiot and, and that I am worth something. Um, you guys have saved my life. Um, truly amazing to me that people would take time out of their day to leave me such nice, long, beautiful comments and, and speaking from your hearts. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. It, I, I'm just, it'll never cease to amaze me, you guys. Never, ever, ever, ever. So thank you. I mean, I could go on all day about that, about what you guys have done for me because uh, saving someone's life is, is kind of a, a big deal you know i i really didn't didn't want to be here anymore and you guys have done so much for me so thank you times infinity and thank you for giving me an, an opportunity to have a decent life and just by believing in me 
and making me feel like what I'm doing is not stupid and it is helpful, that means everything to me, you guys. So thank you, thank you. So right now we are on Division Road. We just turned off of Sugarloaf Boulevard and we're gonna head into the Moon Ridge area right now. We're gonna head into like mid-level Moon Ridge just to see what kind of snow is left from the snow we had a month ago. Oh, look at this dog. I hope you have a home, doggy. Is that your home? He doesn't have a collar. I hope, I hope that was his home. Anyway, you guys, right now it is 45 degrees, 2.33 p.m. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out how to get this map, this like on a split screen on the videos that I do, just so you guys can know where we're at all the time. I think that would be awesome. And a lot of you have suggested that as well, but I, I'm just not, not good at doing that. So I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do anything. I know how to add music to the time lapses and stuff, but that's, that's it. And it took me forever to learn how to do that. And it is so simple. But anyway, yeah, 45 degrees. As I said, um, we've got a, a massive winter storm coming in. Both the brunt of the moisture is gonna stay a bit to the north of us, but we are gonna get a strong push south of the brunt. So I'm super excited about that. As I said, I don't think we're gonna get more than five to seven inches total out of this next system, but uh, hopefully mother nature will prove me wrong. I really hope so. I doubt it, but I hope so. And right now we're on McAllister and we're gonna kind of take some of the side streets into mid-level Moon Ridge. We're not gonna go up to the top of Moon Ridge, I don't think. But yeah, you can see there's there's really no snow left. I, you know, some of these piles of snow that you see are, are just chunks of ice. Of course, the ski resorts still have snow because we're, we are still really cold at night, so they're still making snow all the time. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna turn left here. I always forget what the name of the street is, Vine. We're gonna turn left on Vine. Hollywood and Vine. It's not really Hollywood, but. And then we're gonna turn right here on, Sin on Lucerne. And now we're in Moon Ridge. Okay, so. Yeah, as I said, the snow's gonna begin tomorrow evening. Um, I don't know, maybe like 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. We should start getting some snow falling from the sky. And it's gonna pick up pretty good overnight. And then most of the day Sunday, it should be a steady, moderate snowfall leading to just during the daytime, we could get a foot of snow on Sunday, just on Sunday. So keep your fingers crossed, y'all. You know what, we are gonna to go to Upper Moon Ridge. That's what we are gonna do. And then we're gonna come down the other direction. So we're gonna turn right on Butte. If you don't know these streets, guys, you get, you'll get lost up here. So turn right on Butte and just stay on Butte until you get up to the top. I think it's called Mira where we turn, but M-I-R-A, Mira Lane. I could be wrong though, I'm always wrong. But yeah, so tomorrow night, eight to 10 p.m. Should, should, should begin snowing. For those of you who are coming up here, make sure you have your tire chains with you. Um, just in case, trust me, you're, you're gonna want them, you're gonna need them probably. Um, and you don't wanna get turned around by Caltrans or CHP. Also, to find out exactly what the conditions are on the road you are traveling, call 1-800-CALTRANS. They give you the most up-to-date information. It'll ask you to type in your, the, the highway number you choose to drive on, and then type it in, and or verbally state the highway number, and it'll tell you the most up-to-date road conditions. It's a very, very uh, great little, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I can't think of the darn word. And this is Mira, so we're gonna turn left here. It's a very inf in, in, <laughs> informative uh, phone number, okay guys? It'll, it'll tell you exactly what you need to know um, because a lot of times you'll call and say you wanna go on Highway 330 and, and, and they might say R3 tire chain conditions and then you might have to go up a different way. So always try to figure out for sure what it is before you even head up because uh, you don't want to get turned around. And then when you're driving up, what you want to do is also uh, call while you're driving up too because the conditions change rapidly. And I don't want you guys to waste your time and waste your money and your gas and all that stuff. And just, yeah, 
it, 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 it can become a pain in the butt to get up here, you guys. So just please, 1-800-CALTRANS and follow the prompts. Um, but yeah, uh, if any of you are coming up for this weekend, I suggest you get up here before 5 p.m. tomorrow. We're probably going to have a ton of people heading up here today. So just be prepared, you guys, for a lot of traffic. You know how it gets up here, those of you who come up here often. It gets really, really bad. Um, like, no fun type of bad. So just bring your patience with you and be ready. Because you get a lot of drivers who just who bring the driving from like LA up here um, when it's 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 completely different driving conditions and and they don't change it at all so just be super super careful um, all of you guys are very valuable and mean a lot to me I don't want anything to happen to you all um, we're on wolf right now by the way sorry we went from uh, uh, oh my gosh what's it called Villa Grove and then we turned right on Wolf, and we're gonna take Wolf till it dead ends up here, and then turn right to head down, back down to Lower Moon Ridge, the other direction. So yeah, get up here before 5 p.m. tomorrow, you guys, if you guys want the best chance to be as safe as possible. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want you guys to get up here in one piece. And then when you're here, I'm telling you, even though you have arrived safe and sound, you're at your Airbnb or your hotel, please have your tire chains with you because it's not going to be fun if you can't go anywhere. Well, for, for me it would because I just love it when it snows, period, But and just hanging out in the snow. I've come up here with friends numerous times when it was a ski trip, but I didn't go skiing because I just wanted to hang out at the house and enjoy the snow falling from the sky. Um, so, yeah, just come up here and enjoy the snow but bring your tire chains bring a bunch of warm clothing bring blankets for your car bring uh extra food and water bring enough to last you a, a, at least a few days in the car tell a couple different parties wh uh, when to expect to hear from you and then let, let them know when you make it up here safe and sound because the fact is unfortunately when we get massive storms up here it can take AAA over 24 hours to get to you if you get stuck and that can be life and death situation. And especially since there's not the best cell phone service up here either. So guys, take it seriously. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. As I said, you guys have saved my life and I, and I, I don't know where I would be without you guys emotionally. So thank you. And I'm always gonna be here for you guys to help however I can possibly help because you guys are so worth it. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of Upper Moon Ridge driving down. You can see there's still a little bit of snow on the sides, but all the snow that you're still seeing is from the snow plows that pile the snow up and then it just melts and hardens, melts and hardens. So th most of this is just ice on the sides of the roads. And then this, these big patches that you see are because there's not a lot of direct sunlight here. This is a great place to take your kids sledding too. It's this, this gully area off of this road because they can slide down one side and not worry about running into the street and they'll be slowed down by going uphill on the other side. So this is a very safe spot to bring your kids sledding when we have snow. And typically when we get even just an average snowfall, this is a wonderful place to be. I don't show this spot too often because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. But it is a terrific spot. So what street did we turn on right now? I think we're on Sheephorn. I think we're on Sheephorn. I could be wrong. But yeah, we're, we're, we're headed into mid Moon Ridge now. And straight ahead, that mountain behind there with all the snow, that's Bear Mountain. We are really close to Bear. As a matter of fact, we'll drive by Bear real quick on our way back to upload the Calm Before the Storm video. Thank goodness my friend told me it's uh, it's this day, it's Friday, because I was telling her that it's Thursday. And she's like, no. I'm like, yes. <laughs> she's like, no. So it is Friday. 
44 degrees. So right here we are on Moon, uh, here's Moon Ridge Road, so we're gonna hang a left on Moon Ridge. Here's the golf course to the right. This golf course is so much fun. It's so beautiful. The backdrop on every hole is just incredible. But yeah, guys, this is where the old zoo was. They've really cleared this out so well. My goodness. All right, so right around this corner, the street turns into gold mine as you turn right. And we are now at Bear Mountain and the golf course. So check it out. I'm gonna roll down my window. Here's Bear. Hardly anybody here, you guys. It would be so much fun today because you're not gonna have to wait in any lines at the lifts. Golf course over here, of course. Extra parking for Bear. But this is, this is what I'm talking about right here. There's no one behind us, so we're just gonna pull over for a quick second just just to get a nice uh, a nice little quick quick view up here yeah it's, it's, it's such a nice day it's 45 degrees out here you guys will have an absolute blast today all right let's bounce so gorgeous oh my gosh it is so pretty you guys these mountain transit drivers drive like bats out of hell and then they flip you off too even our school bus drivers will flip you off like it's really bad up here you guys really bad really really bad pick up your know, trash food So now we are on Club View, you guys. We are on Club View. This is right up against Bear Mountain for the most part as we are, we are driving away from Bear. But yeah, this is gonna be a complete whiteout in the next couple days. It's gonna be so beautiful. And if it's enough snow, you guys, it'll cover all these trees to make them completely white because we're supposed to get some super strong 50 to 70 mile per hour gusts and with a heavy enough snow, we'll get blizzard conditions as well as these trees completely covered so they'll be white. I love seeing it when there's that much snow. We haven't had any storms like that in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to it, if it happens. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they're gonna implement a winter storm warning. It's gonna start off as a winter storm watch. It, it's probably just been issued, I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, winter storm warning for sure, for sure, you guys. So um, that's basically the best case scenario for the people like me who love the most amount of snow. If we get like snow advisories or or winter advisories or um, stuff like that, that's not as significant. A winter storm warning is the very best that we can possibly get. And that's what we want. And winter storm watches basically mean that conditions can become favorable for a winter storm. So it's a, a good chance that it could happen. But when they implement the warning, it means that it's already happening or um, it's going to happen. So. We love the winter storm warning. I've only had a couple of them up here where it didn't pan out. Typically the winter storm warnings are, 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 are always on point. As I say though, it's never ever the amount of snow that they say. And once again, never in our favor for the snow lovers. It's never like three to six inches and then all of a sudden we get like a foot. It's never like that. It's like three to six inches and then we get rain or we'll get like an inch. So. As I said, the predictions are massive for this storm, up to possibly two feet here. So we'll see, we'll see. And I'll be out there in the middle of it all. As you guys know, we got our new snow tires on this beast. 
on this 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. We are ready to go. So happy snowstorm to you guys. Hope you guys get a chance to get your butts up here and have some fun in the snow with your kids and family. We'll talk to you later. I'm going to upload this video right now. Peace out to each and every single one of you. I love each and every single one of you to death. Thank you for everything. I will never let you guys down. Peace out.